Hey guys, it's Scott Clark with Scooter Media, and in today's video, we're talking about AI in video. Let's get into it. As you can see, I'm resting and vacationing here in beautiful Alberta with the mountains behind me. And what if I told you there was no mountains behind me and I'm actually laying here in my backyard and we've used AI to create the entire set. Let's start peeling away the layers and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like in real life. So basically what I've done is I've cut out a section of the video that I've made and then everything surrounding that has been created using generative fill in Photoshop. And as you can see, we're peeling away the layers and there are multiple things within this set that have been generated by AI and are not even here. So as you can see, we're almost down to the original video. And there you go. Here I am sitting in the backyard and that's it. Why don't we go inside and I'm going to show you guys how I did this. All right, we're back inside the studio and I'm going to show you guys exactly how we created that AI set. So the first thing I did was I brought my clip into Premiere Pro and I just added a little bit of color. That's due to the fact that I shoot everything in log. If you didn't shoot it in log, you can skip this step. And then I basically scrolled through the footage and found a spot where my hands were the furthest away from my body. So I basically stopped the video here, took a snapshot and call it whatever you want and put it wherever you want. So then what I did was I opened up that shot with Photoshop beta. And in order to use the generative fill, the AI portion of Photoshop, you do need to download the Photoshop beta. It is not in the regular Photoshop yet. Once we have our photo open in Photoshop beta, the first thing I did was make the canvas size larger. And I went with 8K dimensions and they are 7680 by 4320 and hit OK. And that's basically going to double the size of our canvas. And then if we just go over to our size here, we'll put this at something like 40 so that we can see our whole thing. In order to use the generative fill option within Photoshop beta, you do need to have this little bar at the bottom. If you don't see the bar, just go up to window and then all the way down near the bottom, there's something called contextual taskbar. If I click that off, you see my bar disappears but we do want to have that bar there. So we just click that, the bar is going to be there and that's going to allow us to fill in the generative fill options. And then all you need to do now is select an area. So all I did for the mountains, let's say, went up here, I made sure not to get my fingers in the, uh, in the selection area. And then over here, all I did was type in Rocky Mountains. And the, uh, hit enter and it's basically going to generate using artificial intelligence Rocky Mountains and it's going to put them in that little square area that we've selected. So you can see it's working on it right now and in a few seconds there we go. So what it's going to give us this is going to give us one option here. We have three options we can choose from and let's go with option number two for now. This is going to be slightly different than the one I did originally, but just to give you an idea of what I've done here. And just to kind of give you an idea of how quickly we can do this, I'm just going to quickly go through here. We're going to put trees and grass. Oops. Hit enter. And I will just speed up the video just so we're not watching the bar go across the thing, but I just want to show you how quickly we can do this and, and build this set out. So there we go, it's added in some, I wouldn't call those trees, but we'll call them planters that look similar. We'll go with the first option here. And then for down here, I'm just gonna move this little bar down out of the way. We'll do the same thing down here. And we'll say grass and creek. Hit enter. And again, it's gonna generate three options for us. If you don't like those options, you can, you know, either control Z just to get back and undo and regenerate something. And the other option you have, if you don't want to type something in and just let the AI come up with something for you, you can do that as well. So we got grass on there, but we didn't get a creek. 
but that's okay for right now, just for this example. And we'll throw in trees and grass here. Okay, for this top one, just to show you an example, I'm not gonna fill in the generative fill box here. I'm just gonna click it and then I'm gonna hit generate and see what it does on its own. So I haven't typed anything in, it's basically just gonna base itself on what's surrounding that box area. Okay, so there we filled in our whole 8K thing. And then again, if you wanted to, you can come in here and you can add things like, uh, let's type in cabin. I think I like the third one here. And then we'll do one more thing here. Let's just put our table and drinks beside me here like we did in the first example. Table and drinks. Okay, let's leave that as is. And the only thing I did wanna show you in here, another thing that this AI generates without me having to do anything, is you'll notice here that in my shot, you can see the shadow is under the chair. So basically the sun is hitting me almost directly from above and creating a shadow underneath. And if you notice, the table's got a shadow under it. These plants that it's shown and that it's popped in here has shadows and all of that's been created using AI. I haven't had to add those shadows in. It's smart enough to go, we know where the sun is, we're gonna put that in. I would say that took about five minutes to create the whole setup there. And now all we wanna do is we wanna save this so let's call this AI set for Premiere Pro. And we're gonna save it as a Photoshop uh, format, so a PSD, and we're gonna hit save. And one thing I'd also like to do is I like to do a copy just in case we want the whole background as is. And what I'm going to do for that one is I'm just going to make a PNG. We'll call it the same thing. And that is done. All right, so we've exported the PSD file, the Photoshop file with all of the layers within it. And we've also exported the PNG file, which is basically one image of that whole set that we've created. So now we're gonna bring both of those into Premiere Pro. So we'll grab both of those. Actually, you know what? Let's do the PSD first. And it's gonna ask you how you want to import the image. Now, in my case, I wanted it all separated so that I could peel back those layers. If you do wanna do it that way, we have to go in here and change this to individual layers. If you do wanna merge all layers, it's just gonna give you one image, which is kinda of like the one I created as a PNG in the other one. So why don't we do individual layers for this example, and then I can show you the same way I did it in the uh, intro there. And we'll also bring in the PNG file that we created. There we go, okay. So as you can see here, we've got our timeline with our color correction on it. And as you can see, I've shrunk this down 50% because when we bring our image in, I'm just gonna bring in the PNG file first just to show you this. So our PNG file, you can see we're missing a bunch of the stuff that we created because our image is 8K and we're on a 4K timeline. So we do have to shrink that down to 50% to fit into our 4K timeline. So there we go, we've got our image into Premiere Pro and you can see me sitting there with my arms up in the air. Now, if I play this, it's not gonna move because it's just the image. Our video is in behind or below it, I should say. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put the video on top and I'll do the same thing with this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be creating a mask around our video here. So in order to do that, we're just gonna click on the uh, opacity square here. That's gonna create a mask around me there. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna cut out the area around me so that when I move in the video, you're gonna be able to see that. And if I hide this layer, 
you can see that's all that's left of the original file. So that's all I've cut out of the original video file. Now, if we play this, you're gonna see me talking. Hey guys, it's Scott Clark with Scooter Media. And in today's video, we're talking about AI in video. Let's get into it. Okay, so you could see I haven't done the same thing on our second video clip here. So you can kind of see the square here in behind. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to our mask here, mask number one. I'm gonna control C to copy that or command C. Then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna click opacity command V to copy that mask onto the other file. And now if we play our file. Hey guys, it's Scott Clark with Scooter Media. And in today's video, we're talking about AI in video. Let's get into it. As you can see, I'm resting and vacationing here and beautiful. So the last thing I just wanna show you real quick here is just how I got rid of each layer. And to do that, I'm going to bring in my different layers. So this was the AI set for Premiere Pro Photoshop image. So this was the one that we brought in and did individual layers. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start layering these. And I wanna do it in the order that we did them in. So this is number one. Okay, so again, we can see that because we're in a 4K timeline, we can't see our whole 8K image. So I'm gonna basically scale everything down 50% starting with the bottom layer. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste the attributes to the top layer. And we don't want the color, we just want the motion. I'm just gonna bring my photo to the top and then I'm gonna create a little mask around that image again. So now it's basically done the same thing. Hey guys, it's Scott Clark with Scooter Media. But what I can do now is I can just peel away the layers like I did in that first example. So I can start hiding things. You can see my table disappearing there. You can see our cabin's gone now. And as I start peeling away the layers, you're gonna start seeing that pretty soon all we're left with is our image in the middle. So there you go. I can't believe how easy and quick it is to create these sets in Photoshop. I would say this took maybe five minutes and all you're doing is typing in and sometimes you don't even have to type it in. You literally just leave it blank and it'll fill in what it thinks should go there. And then you have a choice to leave that or regenerate something else or type in if you have something specific. But what an amazing feature. I didn't really see how this was gonna be able to be used in video, but saw a couple other uh, creators creating these sets and wanted to try it out myself. And what an amazing feature and fun feature to be able to have fun with and play around with. I suggest you guys download this uh, Photoshop beta and try it for yourself. Such an amazing thing. So there you go, guys. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does make a difference. And I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. And thanks again for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested, check out one of the other videos I have listed here and we'll see you in the next video.